Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we've got good news and we've got bad news in regards to the Powerpuff Girls. The bad news. The bad news first. Apparently, the uh, the reboot, the uh, CW's live action reboot, the very ill conceived live action reboot, is still in development somehow. Yeah. yeah. Even though the CW has been sold for zero dollars. Nobody thought the Powerpuff Girl live action was good. I don't care what side of you of the aisle on, what side of Twitter you're on. Everybody thought it was a bad idea. So we'll talk about that later, right? So that that's still in play, but also in play, and this was a, a pleasant surprise, is that there's, well, we'll see how it goes. Um, they're going to be doing more Powerpuff Girls and Fosters with original creator Craig McCracken. Now, they rebooted the Powerpuff Girls in 2016. That's and it what was I was going to bring up, yes. Complete dog shit. Right, you said, because you said to me before we started this video, you said, well, at least they brought Craig McCracken back in. They didn't have to. Yeah, because they didn't before, and look what happened. Yeah, so they, they seemingly have learned from that mistake. They did the show without Craig McCracken. They, legally, they didn't have to bring him in. This is the problem. But they tried before to not bring him in. Look what happened. Yeah, um, this is the problem with uh, uh, shows. When you get a show picked up, by you know Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon or whatever. I mean, everybody's goal is like, you know, especially a lot of people that listen to this channel, they're like, I want to be an animator. I want to be, um, I want to be a showrunner. You don't realize you're basically selling your baby to mm -hmm. these companies. And in many, many cases, they do not have to include you if they decide to reboot the show. Um, that's pr uh, part of the problem with the uh, Megas XLR right now is mm -hmm. the creators of that show want to go back and actually do more right. and they're not allowed to because Cartoon Network has the rights to it. Well, and these studios are too stupid to realize that bringing the regular, the, the creator that made it popular back is probably the right thing to do because as we mentioned, they tried to do Powerpuff Girls without him and it was a flipping disaster. Yeah. So they're also bringing back Foster's Home. Which I'm not happy about. We're going to talk about that because it, it's going to be a very they're bastard. They're going to ruin it. They're going to ruin it. It's going to be a very bastardized version. Craig McCracken or not. We're going to talk about before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 272,000 subs. Thank you for the support. We do talk about the animation industry. Uh, we actually do like cartoons, contrary to what people think about us. Um, and uh, Craig McCracken, I have a hell of a lot of respect for mm -hmm. because he's produced some of the best shows that Cartoon Network has, has ever had on air. And uh, Foster's, I was a huge fan of. Powerpuff Girls, the original, huge, huge mm -hmm. fan of it and uh, we've watched Cartoon Network just destroy these classic IPs. Mm -hmm. So he is coming back um, from Deadline. Uh, they're gonna get uh, animated reboots from Craig McCracken and works at Hanna-Barbera Studios Europe. So Hanna-Barbera exists in some form. Hanna-Barbera Studios Europe to bring new animated versions of the classics back to the small screen. McCracken, who first began his career at Hanna-Barbera Cartoons 30 years ago, which is now owned by Warner, mm -hmm. and it's like absorbed into Cartoon Network or something. It's, I don't know who owns what now. Well, that's kind of weird and full circle, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, he's developing animated reboots of both series. Powerpuff Girls reboot revisits and expands upon the world of the original series uh, as Blossom Bub Bubbles and Buttercup face off against a gallery of villains comprised of familiar foes and new threats. Well, I guarantee you a couple of them won't be in the show. I don't think they'll be allowed yeah, to be. Yeah, I don't be. think they're going to uh, Yes. Him. And what? Wait, I thought Bubbles and Blossom and Buttercup are, are, it's a show about who's effing who and, you know, and you forced uh, heterosexual normativity Divity. or some shit. We're, we'll talk about the bastardized version that's still apparently in play, which I, I again, I don't understand because the CW got sold for like no money mm -hmm. and nobody wants this show, but they're probably like, oh, this will be great. It'll be great, guys. I'm just using it for trying to get media clout. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. Um, so it sounds like this is going to be a direct sequel to the original show and they're probably just going to step over 2016. Well, let's hope. Let's hope. Um, so live action, yeah, we're going to talk about that. We'll, we'll get to that. We'll rip that Band-Aid off later. We'll rip the other Band-Aids off first. Now, this is what concerns me about this Foster's. Is, yes, concerning. The beloved Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends will return as an original preschool animated series with a new cast of preschool-aged imaginary friends. So it's not the original people. It's new. New characters. New characters for preschool. So, because Coco Melon yeah. and all those shows are doing well and everybody's trying to get their own Coco Melon, that's what this is about. Well, they have Coco. Coco's weird. So, 
The, the, the no, but I mean, but I mean, no, they're all new characters. Yeah, they said all it's new all characters. new characters, but everybody's trying to get into that preschool market now, and they're all desperately trying. And this is their this is their answer to trying to win over the preschool marketplace. Um, so they're going to be as silly and playful as the original bunch. Yeah, that's that's what they're going to do. Is they're going to turn it into a little kids show. Um, so McCracken is going to be creator, producer, and director. Um, you know, at least he's involved. At least he's involved. Hanna Barbera, Homecoming of Craig, was an opportunity we could not pass up. Or leverage. Oh, I'm sorry. Leverage. Did I say that out loud? Yeah. I said the quiet part out loud. So, uh, Hanna Barbera Studios Europe currently produces um, Valiant Prince, Ivan Doe, and and uh, Ivan Doe, or is it Ivan Ho? Uh, Amazing World of Gumball. I did know they do Gumball. The movie. And the series, yeah, for HBO Max. So, yeah, I Hanna Barbera. Like Gumball. Gumball was really good. Gumball was very good. So it's interesting, though, that like all the Hanna-Barbera stuff, all the Cartoon Network stuff is being handled over in Europe now. Let's hope they don't ruin it. Maybe over there they, they have more may have more uh, securities in place so they aren't forced to ruin shit. Maybe. I don't know. But let's speaking of shit getting ruined, let's talk about the... Uh, is, speaking of shit. The live action reboot apparently is still happening. Um, this is, uh, we saw it on comicbook.com. They picked it up from TV line. They said, where do things they picked stand? picked it up from under a rock. From under a rock. They said that the original film pilot was too campy. Uh, <laughs> campy. Think? Hey, that's a, that's a, that's a mild way of putting it. Uh, updates around Powerpuff have been scarce as of late. Reports have indicated the show is still in development at the CW, something that was recently corroborated. And the outlets reporting about the new Powerpuff Girl and Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends animated series, they confirm Powerpuff remains in active development. Let me, let me save you a bunch of time, money, and headaches. Just don't do it. Uh, Mark Pedowitz, who was Excellent. in charge of it, said the pilot didn't work, but because <laughs> we see there's enough elements in there, we wanted to give it another shot. Not. Don't. That's why we don't want to go forward with what we had. Tonally, it might have felt a little too campy. Didn't feel as rooted in reality as it might have been. We're talking about the Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> yeah, I never rooted in reality was never something that that you know I I put with the Powerpuff Girls. Let me save you some money, Pedowitz. Instead of spending all the money on that, and you're wasting your time, and it's going to fail, you could just give us all that money, and we're going to tell you to stop. Yeah, just stop. Just save. You're gonna waste that money anyway. Just send it to us. I don't understand. It might be in development, but I don't understand how this is even gonna get picked up. The CW got sold. Most of the Arrowverse shows got canceled, and the CW basically it got sold for zero dollars. It's worthless, and and the uh, company that bought it assumed the debt. It had like a hundred million dollars. Yeah, I wouldn't do debt. that. CW wasn't worth even the name wasn't worth enough for no. that. Um, you ever heard of development hell? This is literally the personification of development hell. It's this this show. D yeah. It's, it's the hell of development. So they'll probably just like dump it on HBO Max or something. Who the hell knows? Does any of us want to know who the, the three Powerpuff Girls were went to sleep with? No. Well, yeah, DVR. Okay, DVR does. But Tom I mean, wants to know. the majority of rational people. Did anybody want to know? No. 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 So anyway. Anyway, uh, they're, they're sleeping with each other. Oh God, they're talking about the fourth Powerpuff Girl Bliss, um, which I, I, I'm wondering if if she will be missing from the new series, uh, the, retcon, the retcon. I never watched that version, but can I ask a question? Hmm. Was Bliss not white? Yes. I I didn't even know. She's I, the older sister. I just took a yeah. wild damn guess. Oh, well, it says right here, first black. I didn't read yep. that part. Yep. But I was like, that was my guess. I was like, because that's. So predictable. It is very predictable. Powerpuff too white, so we gotta, you know. Um, anyway, very current year. The show, regardless of whatever, the, the the show was dog shit. The reboot Powerpuff Girls was complete dog shit. Everybody hated it. Everybody hated it. They've got Craig McCracken back. Hopefully it'll be okay, but who the hell knows? I just think it's funny. They tried it without him. They tried to pull fast like all these studios do and try to shift. Shit on the creator, shaft the creator, whatever you want to say it, shit shaft, shafty shit. Shit shaft. The creator. That is a totally different. <laughs> and um, it blew up in their face. They have to go back and get the original creator back to even attempt to make a show people actually would be excited about. And it's working because I've heard a lot of people being like, oh, yay. Yeah, but just kill the stupid live action show. Yeah, burn it with fire. Pretend that the uh, 2016 reboot doesn't exist and move on. Mm -hmm. Move on. You'll be happier that way. Anyway, we're going to wrap it up. Yes. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.